What's up, everyone? This is Ronnie just coming to you today with a uh, video. I'm not going to say it's going to be a quick one. I don't know how long it's going to be, but we'll find out. Just uh, going to show you some of the stuff we picked up over the last week or so and just research a little bit of it, quick research. I get a lot of questions and answers on how do you price things, how do you research things. So we're just going to go through it. Um, you know, there's maybe 10 items here. So it's going to kind of, you know, it's not going to take too long. But uh, how do I sound and look in the chat? Everybody see me okay? What's up, girl on fire? Bubba, Lonnie, how are you guys doing? Do I sound okay? Do I sound crazy? Red Nickerson. I'm guessing I sound okay. Yes, no, great. Okay. How you doing, Mr. Liquidation, Ohio? I guess that means Ohio, right? Hey, Joe. All right. Not going to. Okay. So everything's good. So first pair we're going to get into, these green men's dress pants right here. Flat front, cuff bottom. These are vintage. The brand is Chip. C-H-I-P-P. -P. These are 100% wool. These are probably 70s. I sold a pair by this brand uh, not too re uh, not too long ago. Um, I don't remember what I got. 50 ish. I found this pair a few times. I found it in the suits also. It's vintage. It actually sells fairly well. It has actually there's not much of it. It's kind of a niche uh, following. So come over here, gonna put in chip. Enter. So we're gonna go into dress pants. You see right here currently there is three pairs. Somebody's asking 32, 250, 350. They're not gonna get that. I can tell you that right now. Solds. There's only two sold. Somebody got around 54 and somebody got 20. Maybe I didn't sell a pair that recently. I did sell a pair not too long ago. They were like a peach color with like seagulls embroidered on them. Anyway. Let me see. Here. Stop. So you can see there's not. Where am I? Okay, there I am. So I'm still probably going to put these up for about 50 bucks. Maybe I'll put them up for 60. There's not too many of them. You want them, you're going to get them. These are a size 38 regular. Inseam seems pretty long on these. At least a 30. I hate picking up pants that are shorter than 30. because I just These are right at 30. So 38, 30. Not too bad. Anything under 30, I just feel like it takes forever to sell. But uh, hoping to get at least, you know, 45 to 60. I know. It's not too many. That's where I'm going to price them up there. Uh, then I found these two pairs. These are the same exact pair of pants. One's blue. Is it blue? Yeah, it's like a blue. This one's like a brownish gray. And the brand is in contents. In contents, these are 100% wool. I got these on a half off day, so I paid my pants. I think are 650, so it would have been. 325. So once again, usually for those, I will get about um, 40 to 50, I believe. Just put in the pants here. We do not need that. Um, pants, and these are 
scroll down 100% wool because different fabrics will sell for different prices. I want to check pre owned. So we got 158 of these, highest to lowest. You see, there's a few lots here, a few more. These people got uh, certain prices here, looking about best offer. These all had to go about 80 bucks, probably 75. I, I find them hard to sell at that price. Like here's 68, 69. I usually can get about 50 for these with no problem. Looking at these prices, I may ask 60, maybe. Because we do run a sale in our store sometimes, you know, 25, 30% off. But you can see right here, first page, $40. I'll charge $6 shipping. So I'll probably put them up either for eh, $50 or $60. And the reason why I can ask a certain amount of price for something is because we do have the feedback. We do have, once you have a lot more feedback, once you do have a better rating and certain things you can ask a little bit more take really good pictures include measurements and so on and so forth uh, you can see right here there's 158 of these listed get out of here and there is 137 currently listed so these actually sell at a pretty good rate so that's not bad at all let's go back to the chat Uh, how you guys doing? Hope I didn't miss anything. Hope all was good. Okay. This thing bounces all over the place on me. So those are those two pair of pants. I paid, like I said, I paid half off on those. This is a sport coat I picked up. I actually like this brand. It's not really a common brand. You can see it's a it's a nice like brown check. Which the, the print stands out when you're looking through the rack, that print will stand out. I actually like this print. But, uh, show you the brand right here. Samuel, Samuel Sun. These are made in Canada. And it is a wool, it's 100% wool. And it is a 44 long. And this brand right here, they I don't know if they get their stuff, but the tags are very similar or are the same as the ones for actually Paul Stewart um, suits and sport coats. So I'm not sure if they're like somewhat the same company or they get their stuff made up the same by the same place or not, but. We'll look that up real quick. Da, 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 da. How you guys doing? I'll answer you guys' questions in one minute. Um, okay. So back over here. Oh, that person's name on how was that spelled? And let's see right here, we're going to go into blazers and sport coats. Scroll down, pre owned, it's currently 507 on eBay. And let's go. Up a little bit. Material. I always like to look at the materials because you don't want to be looking for a cashmere one or something like that and get caught up. So we're looking at just wool. It's 287. So about 60% of them are wool. And then sold is coming in at 99. So these don't sell the greatest, I'm, I'm guessing, going by the statistics. You can see right here, some of these sold pretty well. I've always done somewhat well with this brand. I'm not sure. Usually I can get 60 to... Here's one I just sold recently right here. This is a more recent tag by them. I got 60 for this one. There's the recent tag. 
for because this one's a bigger size, I'm probably going to ask a hundred for it. Is a forty four long? Uh, forty four. It's not a really. I mean, forty four is kind of common, but the the tall, depending on how big it is, I'm going to say somewhere between eighty and a hundred. But uh, this is going to take a long time to sell going by these uh, solds. Well, let me check over here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Da, 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 da. Thought I seen a question. What's up, Greg? Greg, your question. How often do I source Rhode Island? Rhode Island is super small. I don't source Rhode Island all that much due to it's so small. There's not a lot of stores over there. There's a few savers. Mostly savers. A few Salvation Armies. Salvation Armies I've never done good at. And I'm kind of like on my uh, no savers. No savers kick for a while. How do you tell if a suit or blazer has been altered? When you measure the size. It's all about measuring the size. You can tell just by measuring it if it doesn't if the measurements don't add up to what the listed size says then you know it's been altered to tell you the truth very few salt suits are altered um because people don't buy a joseph a bank or people don't go out and buy the cheaper lower end suits to have them altered it's too much money it actually does cost a lot of money to have them altered Are Joseph A. Bank suits, jackets, work picking up if they're camel hair or cashmere? They do sell. I've sold almost every one I've gotten, but they don't sell for that much. Uh, 40 to 60. It just depends. If it's a bigger size, it's nice. If they're like 48, 50, 52, they do it better than the smaller size ones because they're not really that expensive. They show a very high price if you go into the stores. But then if you go ever go into one of the stores, it's like 60% off. And then once you get in there and it's like, buy one suit, get two free. It's like, by the time you've done buying a suit, you're buying three suits for like 200 bucks or something. Or maybe 300, but it's crazy how much price and stuff they have. But uh, let's get back over. Let's just show you some other things. These are things I'm not going to look these up because, I mean, these are just run of the mill, these two things. Yeah, I'm going to show you. But this is just a Patagonia shirt. I just like the design of it. Short sleeve. It's like a polyester. But I just like the design of it. I mean, I'm not going to get a huge amount of money for this. I paid five. Maybe I'll get 25-ish. 20, maybe. I just got got a bunch of things. And I just thought it was a really nice, cool design. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren shirt. It's really colorful, as you can see. Now, I usually don't pick these up, but there's two things. It's a size extra large, and it's linen. And linen shirts will sell better than your cotton Ralph Lauren shirts. I've never had a trouble selling a linen shirt. They all sell well. And I can usually get $30, $40 for the linen ones. Twenty, Let's say 25 to 40 depending on the size and the colors. And they usually sell fairly quickly. What is your fur? What is your favorite suit brand that you constantly find? I don't know if you constantly find one that that you like. I, I think I might. The one I've liked recently the best is Suit Supply because every piece of clothing I've gotten from Suit Supplies usually sells within thirty days and sells for good money. Um. Yeah, Crowley. I mean. Going into a, savers is nice. They're, they're, I love how they're like all laid out and clean and big stores, but dude, their prices are freaking ridiculous. Uh, how do you store your wool suits and sport coats in the summer? In boxes. Everything is boxed up and bagged up and ready to get shipped out. We made some videos in the past how we keep everything and that's just how we 
how we uh, keep everything. Everything is already boxed up and in, we put an inventory and then we put that inventory in our in our listing so I can see it when I go through the item specifics. Uh, savers in general are ripoffs everywhere. I mean, it's it's okay because you, if you could find higher dollar stuff at the savers, it's good. And it does happen. You do find higher dollar stuff, but their prices are like $10 for a regular freaking dress shirt most of the time. It's kind of crazy. Oh, no. Let me show you this shirt first. This is a heavy, heavy wool blend. This is wool and nylon. It's like 80% wool. Picked this up the other day at a half off day in Salvation Army. It was a senior day. And there's a lady in my group that's familiar with our, that I run into all the time and we message each other, each other and all that stuff. She doesn't do men's clothing. Said she was in there and she found this sweater. She asked me if I wanted it. I was actually in the area, so I was over there in about five minutes, and I found a few other things. So I paid. They had this price at ten. I got five for it. Orvis, it's two x two extra large, so it's a bigger size. It's a really nice, heavy, heavy uh, wool shirt. This, I mean, that should be thirty five to four. I would say thirty five fifty, but we're gonna check. Uh. Screen share, come over here. Orvis. Orvis. Sweaters. And you can break this down because you're going to come into this automatically and see 2,000 sweaters, and you're kind of going to get, you know, you're going to see prices all the place. But, you know, we got to cut out a lot of this here. So see here, we have wool, so we'll pick Murano wool, wool blend, because it's actually a wool blend. We'll pick also 100% wool, put it all in the same family. And we knock that number down to 598. Uh, we have a full zip, so that does matter. Now we're knocking it down to 53. So I think that's it. 53. It kind of looks like the one we just we just have right now. It's a little similar but different. That's new attacks technically. Oh, it is. Did I put pre-owned? We're put pre-owned. Okay, there we go. So you can see some of them here: 60, 60, 50, 49, 49. 47. And they dip down. Here's 30s. 30. I mean, this is heavy. This would have to be, this is probably, I would say, probably close to two pounds of sweater. So I'd probably put this in a, in either a poly mailer or a, at the two pound rate, or maybe a uh, regional A box. So I'd probably charge $10 shipping on that. But uh, not really seeing, you know, the prices are all over the place. But uh, I'm going to go by size. Size here, there's six that have sold, two extra, two extra large, 50, 48 and change. That seems to sell somewhere in that 40, 50 range. And then there's a few stragglers. One here sold for under 20, 25, 26. And currently there is... There's none currently in that size, so that's good for us. Put it up probably 50 or 60, maybe 60 because there's none currently on there. We could act a little bit more. And it looks brand new. There's no flaws on this thing whatsoever. But, uh... Let me see here. Do you buy from auctions? I buy from everywhere. I, I, we go to auctions occasionally. I do not buy clothing from auctions, but I buy a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that you see us sell online. Certain things. Um,
Yeah, but I've never really bought clothing at a auction. Um, Let me see here. What else? Where's the Coke sign? The Coke sign is down actually on the floor. We have another sign that's coming up in its place. I actually sold the Coke sign, but I got to ship it out. And I got to actually go and get boxes for it and everything. I'm actually putting it in two large um, picture frame boxes and kind of putting them together. And there's going to be foam board, and I'm going to wrap the sign in two moving blankets and then it's actually going to be wrapped in a tarp so nothing can damage the sign paint style but i actually have another four foot coke sign so we actually had three of these at one time we had two of the same one was a little less damaged i sold one and put the other one up and you guys didn't even know it was the same sign but one was better conditioned than the other and then we have actually another four foot coke sign we only have so much space to put a sign on so So the Coke sign is found a new home, but I got to ship it out. But uh, with that being said, we get back to this. We don't want to be talking about a Coke sign all day. I picked this up. This was $3. This is a Foot Joy uh, golf sweater, half zip. And it has that uh, like wind protection liner in here, wind stopper, I think it's whatever it is. And this is just a regular wool sweater. Nothing. No logos, no nothing. Uh, the only logo I want on a sweater anyway is if it's a really good golf course, like Sea Island or or the Titleist ones. But uh, these actually usually sell for like 35 40 bucks. I sold one some time ago. Uh, and the, if you find the ones with the Titleist on the sleeve, the patch, they sell for crazy money. So we'll go over and show you what these sweaters look like and how to look them up. Sorry, I didn't put you guys in a screen share. My bad. All right, here we go. Back to the sweaters. So I looked it up. There's currently 34 of these going high to lowest. And I just put them uh, foot choice when they came up to sweaters. Let's put them in all categories. All right, it's currently 300. Because some of them will be listed under golf uh, goods. I can tell you that sporting goods, and I tell you, and some of them are listed. Under, I have no idea where it sells better. I, I've tried both, and I've never figured it out. So we're going to put pre-owned 107 of these. And you can see the prices are kind of all over the place. But for the majority, it seems like they're in this price. But we want to look at sold. We don't care about what's currently listed somewhat, kind of. Only when... So you see these sell about half, about this 260 listed, 230 sold. So you can see the ones with the titles patches up here, 125, 125. That sold for over 100. Another one, 85. So these sell better with the titles patch. Uh, see here. But you come down, here's another one, titles patch. We don't have the titles patch. So we just want to look for Argyle style sweaters seem to sell pretty good. Better prices. They're selling in that fifty-five dollar range. Everybody's adding shipping. Here's one right here. It has some type of logo on the side. Don't know what it is. More of those Argyle ones. There's a lot of that Argyle style. I guess uh, more here. Another one. Another one. So here's one here. Forty-seven plus shipping. Forty-four plus shipping. Up. Oh. I sold this one right here. So, I, no, I mean, this one I sold right here back in December. Uh, that was extra large. And I sold for $40 plus eight to ship. So, I'd probably expect to get about that same price. So, somewhere in there. Maybe golf season's coming in. Maybe I'd price it a little higher. Maybe $44. Um, and shipping, but... Not gonna go too much higher, and that was three dollars, so that should be a nice good flip. Let me see here, just making sure. Found these denim jeans. I find these every once in a while. I don't pick up a lot of denim jeans because most of our stores they're either priced seven to ten dollars, and there's not a huge amount of money at jeans priced at seven to ten dollars. 
but this is the brand PR PS. They have like a bull no, that's not a bulldog. It's like an angel on a crutch. I seriously thought that was a dog for a moment. But these have like a bleached uh motif to them style. And they have button fly size 36. And I'm trying to find the style number for these. Then they have it on there, the pocket. It's demon. Oh, that's nice. How classy, demon. And sometimes on these tags, you could, you could also tell. Yeah, these came from the spring of 2015, so they're not too old, too old. For jeans, I always look in the crotch area to see if there's any holes or rips, and I always check out the the the, uh, the hem just to make sure they're not like all beat up or at all. Um, you know, nobody wants a pair of ones that look like they've been walked over by everybody in their their brother. So put those over there. I got those for five. They were half off. And that was the third piece I got from that um that lot. So let me just check the chat real quick. I've been neglecting the chat. Um do you use your iPhone to research when you buy? Sometimes I look I'll look stuff up occasionally. Um look stuff up it just depends on what it is some things i'll look up some things i won't it depends like if i haven't sold something in a while i'll go and pick it up i mean i'll research it like if it's been two three years since i sold something i'll look it up quickly and it just depends if it's like on five dollars or less i'll pick it up like i'm not gonna waste how much time am i gonna waste in the store looking stuff up but if it's you know let's say it's a suit and i haven't sold that brand and a while and it's twenty dollars i may look it up just to see what they're currently selling for because the market does change on certain things but um i sold the coke sign but we have we have another coke sign so it's not worried my wife co-signed on me selling it so it's all good. I use do I I use auctions if when I do look up auctions and stuff like that. Um, Louis, I was talking about you earlier in the chat in our chat, one of our chats. I still got to have my stare off. Would you? I got to get you on and have our stare off. See who could stare without blinking the longest. And tack of the bald heads. But anyway, back over here. So uh, what do we have here? We had the PRPS and Demon was the brand or the model. So we come up here, pre-owned. There's only 32 pre-owned. Most of the ones that were being sold were new. And this actually looked to sell really good. I was thinking 50 when I picked them up, but uh, these looked to be selling Maybe a little bit better, 50. Well, no, maybe not. They dip down to 50s and 30s pretty quickly. It's 32 sold, so 50 looks to be about where that sweet spot is. People that auction stuff off, that's terrible. Dollar 25. I, I auction off stuff that like I want to get rid of just because I want to get rid of things. And we've had a shipping defect for a while that's really messed up our, uh, our, I want to say our average on things because when we were away, we got messed up on our shipping. Not all the listings. It was my first time using the uh, the shipping thing. So currently, there's 32 sold, 26 currently listed. I'll put these up for probably 50 or 60 hours. We do run sales, so I'm not going to be too crazy or greedy. All right, so we're back over here. <laughs> You're lazy. Right, that's funny. I found this the other day. This is a, if you don't know, 
this is a striped men's vest, but this is like a textured it's blue and white most of the time. This is actually a seersucker material. And this is really short, as you can see. This is small. I almost thought this was a kid's. It's double breasted and it's a uh, seersucker suit. And it's by Brooks Brothers, 818 line. Madison is the cut. This is really small though. It's a 38 short, 100% cotton. You can see it's unstructured, no lining to this thing. But uh, I paid whatever the price is, seven bucks for this. Has nice mother of pearl buttons. Buttons all seem to be in good condition, no chips or anything. Gonna have to get this dry clean. This smells like smoke. I don't know if it's smoke or reefer, but it has a funk to it. Gonna get that dry clean. I think it costs like six bucks. Get it dry cleaned. But now we're gonna pop back over here. For that, it's it's a smaller size, so I'm not really sure. Sometimes with smaller sizes, you could get a little bit more. Sometimes you can get a little bit. It's like a bigger size. There's just not a lot of them out there. But also, 38 short, like, what are you got to be, like 150 pounds? And, like, Jackie Chan be wearing that or something. I don't know, like, five foot two, five foot, I'm, or Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart's a small guy. I don't know if Jackie Chan's small. But uh, let's go. Hold on. I'm confused. Go to the screen share. Go over here, look up Brooks Brothers. Uh, see a sucker. Want to look under Blazers? Let's look up. Uh, use. So there's 38 available currently. You see some of these. Oh, let's go to Sport Coast. Yeah, they're on Sport Coast. This drives me crazy when people list things like here. This is sport coats, but they got these listed. These are suits. You got pants with them. They're suits. Or people will list a suit coat under suits. It's not a suit coat. It doesn't have pants. But uh, let's go check this out. Let's check solds. Thirty-three have sold. These are not really going to be the best to sell right now. This will be probably late spring or summer this will sell just because it's cotton it's more of that um material that gets sold in the summertime i sold this one recently you can see these from my background i have that wood background i sold this one i actually sold this twice and a few of the buttons had chips on them and i still got 70 bucks but i got because it was a 48 extra long so that was you know it's a bigger size um you see I sold it actually twice. Yeah. And it sold both times. See here, December 8th. And I don't know if they returned it or if they I didn't pay. I don't remember. And then I sold it again on December 16th. So hey, don't worry about it. Here's one right here. That's the 818 line. 818 is their better line. That was probably like eight or $900 jacket. I'll probably ask hmm, somewhere about 60 bucks. I'm guessing. But I'm probably into it a little bit more because I gotta get it dry clean than I would like to. I guess I paid seven, so I'll be into it like 13, 14 bucks. And probably not the best buy. I may have to ask a little bit more due to having to get that dry cleaned. And then last, I, I've been finding if you ever see my videos, my update videos, I'll talk about, you know, we come across new tag items. I found again, I've been finding these over the past like two months probably or so. These um, Footjoy and Peter Millar shorts, they keep showing up at our Goodwill. I'm not at Goodwill, one of our thrift stores. And I found two more. This is Footjoy. It's like a seafoam green. And this one's like, is this green or blue? Tropical green. Okay. They're both brand new tags. Peter Millar, 
I've found as many as 10 in a store before. This time I only found two. And it must be a local country club or something because I have this, this little flag thing on the price tag. And on this one, you can see it on the back of the the back of the shorts. I'm probably it would probably not be too hard to figure out what golf course that is. That's a W. So I'm, I'm guessing I know which one it actually already is. And choose it maybe. But I've uh, been selling those right around. I began right around forty to fifty dollars for those. I paid ten bucks for them. Probably a little bit more. I've been getting them on half off day for like five, but. I'm okay with that. But, uh, whoops, let me do a screenshot. I'll just show you real quick. We'll go over here. We'll just look up Peter Millar. Okay. That didn't work. Oh, they don't have. Okay, never mind. So you see here, go through, scroll through a little bit, and then you see some here, here. Forty, forty, forty. You know, like I said, we've been getting right around forty to fifty for these. You see a lot in this range. Okay, why am I not? We sold a bunch of these. I don't know why mine are not coming up. Here's one here, 40. This one was on sale, 37. I know we sold more than that. Maybe a foot, maybe they're different. Oh, there we go. See, I've sold a bunch of these over the 45, 40, 50, 37, 50. So I've been getting them. They've been selling at a pretty good pace even in the middle of winter. So um, when I see them, I pick them up. Like I said, we price them right about 50. I mean, if they sell, I get it somewhere in that profit range of if they sell the 40 range, we get. 40 take away fee getting about $25 profit so we're getting about 25 to 35 ish we I and they, they go first class I do not pay shipping I charge 399 shipping on those so uh, that's all the stuff I got so if anybody has any questions let me know all right don't worry about what's in my shopping cart Bubba what was your total time invest in all? This was like over the last few days, just going to my locals, my local two stores. Probably I go in the store so often that I'm only in the store maybe 10 minutes. Our stores are small. If Greg is in the chat still, the ballet picker, he'll tell you the stores in my town, Hyannis, are very small, small goodwill and a small, uh, Small Salvation Army for the most part. And the men's section is really small. So it's very easy to go through the men's section. If you go mm -hmm. through there every day or every other day, you kind of notice the new stuff. You kind of notice what's new. In the Goodwill, you can just go by the color bars on the clothing because you can see them. And like this week's yellow. So I just look for the yellow tag stuff or if anything jumps out at me. I don't try to... Um, Look for anything particular, you know, just look for the new colors. Go through quick as fast. I'm in and out of the store probably most of the time in 10 minutes. Sometimes I'm in line more than that. Drives me crazy being online and there's like. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it could sell now. There. Girl on Fire. They do sell year round. I mean, I sold mine in the middle of winter, but. They do sell better in the summer. It's more of a summer style. Um, 
I think that's it. Uh, do you have employees know as resellers? Of, wait, do the employees know your? Yeah, my employees. I mean, the employees at the Salvation Army know. The manager knows. It's it's whatever. Um, you know, it's it's interesting. It's fun. I mean, it's different. He'll ask me, you know, oh, you find anything good lately? It's like. He knew I sold my vest, and I don't know how he knew I sold my vest. But there is a few other resellers that go and go to that store, watch the video. So it could have been from one of them. But I'm not worried about a store knowing that I'm a reseller because if you're going to a, a thrift store every other day, trust me, they know you're a reseller. Like they know. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They know you're a reseller. You're not buying all different size clothing and this and that to sell for yourself. I would tell you right now that, what would you think, 25 to 50% of a damn people that go into a thrift store are buying stuff to resell. They're not buying stuff for themselves most of the time. I bet you most of the people that go into a thrift store these days are looking for some way to make money on something. It's just they have all different niches. Have you ever sold four chimes made in England? I have no idea what that is. Uh, swamp, but I'm going to say no. I don't know what four chimes is. What is those? Uh, do you do the PGA National Foot Joys do well? Some do. Almost any foot joy shirts, it depends on the colors or the patterns. If it's a nicer pattern and a nicer color or a bigger size, like extra large, two extra large, they sell better. Um, if it's a smaller size, they have to be the and the Peter Millard's the same thing. The depending on the logos, the logos will sometimes kill a brand, or sometimes they can help sell one. And I'm not looking to figure out what um there's no way I'm looking for like, oh, um, like, what was I going to say now? Oh, there's no way I'm going to look up and try to figure out what uh, golf course is it. Sometimes I run across a golf course by accident and just like, oh, wow. But uh, let me see here. If there's anything else? What part of the country do you source? I source New England, majority northeast. Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Hampshire, Maine, Southern Maine. I don't think I've ever been past Matt, Bath, Maine, but I love Maine. But uh, where else? I don't think I've ever been to Vermont, other than to a state sale or an auction. I don't think I've ever had a thrift store in Vermont. No, that's wrong. We were up there a few years ago for Maine. I mean, to go, we went to, uh, went skiing up there and I can't remember the name of the town, Freiburg. And it was right across the way was Maine, uh, Vermont. And I did hit a few thrift stores. But, uh, that's it I can think about. Um, mm -hmm. sell so something on eBay. No. But with that being said, I see one more question. I had a pile of, wait, wait, I had a pile for a dollar each on dollar day, and I was told not to, that because I miss out on the dollar sale, really, because I might not buy anything in the time. What? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that meant. Yes, go Celtics. Uh, one of you and Gretchen moving. Right now, it's looking like the fall. It's always gonna. It was always gonna be either late spring or fall, but it's looking like the fall. How often do you go to a thrift store and not find anything? Today, I went to a thrift store today and found nothing. I went to two thrift stores, found the shorts at one. I found nothing at the other. It just happens. Um, you know, you go and I'm very picky about what we pick up and. I do run in and out of a sh uh, a store quick enough that I maybe miss things behind, you know. 
like some of those things I got a half off day. I missed them during the week, and I'm not saying I would have picked them up at whatever full price was, but I did miss them and didn't see them. You know, so you're not always um. All right, everyone, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day. I'm going to bounce out of here, but uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.